Hello good people and thank you so much for checking out my channel. This is a recap of Tyler Perry Sisters season 4 episode 19. The title of the episode is Benefit of the Doubt. Alright so we start this episode out. Zach is finally free. He's a free man. Actually he got out on the last episode. So we start this particular scene at his place where he's pulled up. And of course, he has Fatima in the car with him. He's all excited about showing Fatima the new house. When they drive up, they do find um, Jake outside. And so Jake just let Zach know that he had paid the contractors for him and everything. And so Zach said that he would pay him later. And, you know, he's appreciative that he took care of that for him. And that he's a really stand-up guy. And so Fatima's like side-eyeing eyeing, um, Jake because she doesn't know Jake. And Fatima don't trust people like that anyway. And that's pretty much what she tells Zach. So they go inside the house. And of course, as I mentioned before, Zach is really happy and excited about his new home. This is his first time owning a home. And it is very nice. And he's excited to show Fatima everything that he has in place. And he also surprises her with her own set of keys to the house. And then they have a discussion about where he asked her to move in with him. And she's hesitant about moving in, saying that she will move in, but she will keep her place. And so Zach, he's not down for that. He's saying that she needs to let her place go. And they go back and forth with that for a little while. And then they're talking about how much they love each other and care for each other. All that stuff. And so she finally says, okay, I'll move in and I'll just let my place go. Girl, keep your place. Don't let your place go. But that's what she said she's going to do. All right. And then Fatima had also asked Zach if he felt that they were moving too fast. And, of course, Zach then, he doesn't think that they're moving fast. So he pretty much got what he wanted as far as Fatima moving in with him. <laughs> All right, so then we have the scene where Hayden is at the office with Andy at the law firm. And he approaches Andy and he's asking her why she didn't tell the police that Zach had came and assaulted him. And so, Fatima's, I mean, Andy's like, what? And then so he was like, that's why Fatima can't come back and work for her because he took out a restraining order on Fatima. And Andy was like, you must be damn crazy because Fatima, she's going to get one of the attorneys here. And she will file a complaint about the hostile environment and also about you bullying her. And she was like, we have so much evidence about all the things you've been doing to Fatima. And so, of course that nutcase Hayden he also brings up about Robin saying that he knows pretty much that Robin and Andy are together fooling around and um you know that he pretty much has have the scoop on them and so they're just going back and forth Fatima and um and Hayden crazy self <laughs> oh and so he finally gets mad like a little kid and start and stomps off all right, so then we have Preston. Preston shows up at the bank where Sabrina works, and he goes to get advice from Sabrina about how to, you know, get back with Danny. He's really missing Danny. He's made a foolish mistake by going to get advice from Zach, and that didn't work out for him. So now he's trying to get advice from Sabrina about, you know, how he can get with Danny. And so Danny just told him that, Dan I'm sorry, Sabrina told shares with Preston that Danny does really like him and he just needs to talk to Danny and so Preston agrees that he will go and talk to Danny and that you know he really is into Danny also all right so of course Sabrina picks up the phone and she calls Danny to let him to let her know that Preston stopped by and while they're on the phone, they go ahead and decide that they're going to double date because Sabrina has plans with the Prince Badu. And Danny already had plans with the um, undercover cop that she met at the airport. So they decide they're going to double date. And then we have Fatima and Zach there at the new home. And uh, Fatima's cooking. And Zach shares his plan of buying the house next door. You know, so he can invest. And he also mentions 
um i think he's he said his stock was like at two million and he was trying to decide what to do as far as like selling it or whatever and that he's going to talk to jake about it and fatima once again she she uh, mentioned that she doesn't really trust jake and she's asking zach if she, if he trusts um jake like that and so she was just like okay you just have to be careful and she's thinking that he should just go ahead and sell the stock and so she tells zach that she needs to go home and he's like what do you mean you have to go home and she was like she needs to get some clothes and he was like well i know you have a whole bag in the car <laughs> and she was like a whole bag what is that and he's like you know what a whole bag is so she basically told him he better not have one in his car so anyway <laughs> they're funny so she goes home to her original home to get her clothes all right, so then Zach calls Jake to come by and get his check. And then we see Andy. She stops by Danny's place. And Danny shares her feelings about Preston, um, how he was um, raised by a racist family. And it's like she's ha having to teach him about black people. And she don't have time to be trying to teach someone that he should go out and learn on his own, you know. And so Andy, she tells Danny that it does seem like Preston was trying. And so then Danny asked Andy why is she there and that she only stopped by because she probably just wanted to talk about Scary Gary. <laughs> because if that wasn't the case, then Andy would have went straight to Karen. That's usually her go-to person. But she know Karen don't give a flip about Gary. And Danny pretty much really keeps it real with her, you know. And Andy, she lets Danny know that she wants to call Gary and she wants to maybe go out to dinner with him. And so Danny's like, you know, Danny's pretty much always like, you're going to do whatever, whatever you want to do, Dan, um, Andy. And then that, that is the truth. No matter how a person feels and what advice you give to them, nine times out of ten, they're going to do whatever they feel like doing. So um, we have Sabrina who goes to Karen's salon she's getting prepared for her date so she go to Karen's salon so she can you know spruce up her hair give her dreads the style or whatever and so um Karen just asks her not to bring up cabin on a date and just go and enjoy herself and then Sabrina asks Karen how she's been doing how she's feeling because Karen is pregnant and so of course Karen shares her feelings about Zach and that she don't really want Aaron even when she has sex with him she don't really want him and that she's um you know she think that zach has not moved on that he's just out there just sleeping around but he has not moved on from her and sabrina tell her it's her hormones that making her feel that way but karen's not trying to hear that and so sabrina also tell her that she should listen to danny and that's when um she's referring to when danny told her that she still has plenty of time to make decisions about whatever she needs to make decisions about and karen she just says one more time that she really wants to see zach all right so we see gary and aaron at gary's office and aaron's i mean gary's just carrying on and on talking about his money that he spent on <laughs> he's talking about his money that he spent on andy buying her that penthouse buying her cars furnishing the penthouse like all the luxury things that he's bought andy and he's like he want his money back he want all his shit back <laughs> and aaron tell him that he should not give anything that he would want back <laughs> uh, and he keeps looking out the window but the thing is that aaron took the telescope from him but aaron's like i know you can go buy you another, another telescope so it's you know <laughs> he's Aaron is really trying to keep him calm but Gary's really not trying to listen to what Aaron's talking about and so while they're there at the office and he's carrying on he gets a call from Andy <laughs> and he tried his best to calm himself down while he answered the phone and so once he answers she asks him to meet meet her at the incredible and she says incredible penthouse he gave her <laughs> uh and he agrees and then Aaron asked him will he be able to talk to Andy in a calm manner and so he was like <laughs> he's like 
and Aaron reminds him what happened last time when he was upset um he was so upset he grabbed Andy and he pretty much I think he squeezed her until she passed out it was kind of scary when he did that he's not to be trusted I don't I wouldn't trust anyone that did that to me all right so Andy calls Fatima and tells Fatima about Hayden having airport footage and that he's been watching footage at the airport and he's probably watching that you know so Hayden is just like a cockroach he is he just will not go sit down and so Andy also tells Fatima that she needs to know how Zach got that money and if he got it illegal he needs to tell her you know because she's quite sure Hayden's trying to get something on her and Fatima say that she will have Zach to give her a call and all right, so then we have Gary. He shows up acting strange. <laughs> he just can't. It's like he can't compose himself. And he's trying to get him to sit down. He want to sit the opposite to where she's saying. She's trying to offer him a drink. He can't even focus. He keeps having flashbacks to what he saw through the telescope when Robin was there. Andy had Robin in that penthouse. And her and Robin had sex in the penthouse out in the open where um gary could clearly see in the telescope <laughs> and it's just like he can't take it anymore he jumps up to leave all right so then jake stopped by zach's house to pick up the check you know because he had paid the construction workers while jack was in jail jail zach, zach was in jail that zach and jack is really tying my tongue up i'm telling you it's tying me up i'm getting tied up so anyway zach is thankful that jake looked out for him and jake said he feels like zach is a brother like he you know he they're really cool with each other and he likes looking out he doesn't mind looking out for him he has a good vibe with him and everything and so Zach asks for stock advice. He tells him about the stock that he currently have and how it's been going up and what if it continues to go up. And then Jake is like, I think you should just sell it. And so he's like, oh, that's what my girl said. Fatima had told him the same thing. And Jake, all, and then he was like, well, how can I trust what you're saying? And so Jake tell him to give him a million dollars of it and that he will invest it for him. And then, you know, Zach is not really trusting that. He was like, he'll have to see. And he asked him, if he's um if it has anything to do with Gary would Gary be involved and he was like why and he was like well he don't trust Gary and so Zach is Jake is like oh okay I understand I get you I get you and he was like and then Zach asked Jake what was up with that what do you mean by that and so I guess Jake has been picking up different vibes about Gary and no Gary's not you know all the way together and then Jake also knows that Gary and Hayden you know they have been like doing some little side stuff so he pretty much know they haven't been up to any good so jake was like okay well you just zach was like okay well you just said we were brothers now you're acting like we're cousins <laughs> so funny <laughs> all right so jake leaves and him and zach say they'll get together later about it so when Jake leaves, that's when Zach receives a phone call and there's a woman on the phone and Zach's like, who is this? And so it sounds like the lady that he got the stock information from. And I almost want to say it is her because she asked him to meet her at the same hotel and she was saying that she was the one that made him rich. Uh, Zach, please do not fall for it. Don't, 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 don't. Because I have a feeling that Hayden found this lady and he's put two and two together and he's gonna do whatever he can to bring zach down if it means nothing but having zach to lose all his money and more than likely try to get zach back in jail all right guys so overall this was a very good episode i really enjoyed it i'm looking forward to the next episode thank you guys so much for checking out my channel i hope you continue to have a great day bye